Hello there. Through this video, let us understand programming language paradigm. Before moving into detail, let us try to know what is a paradigm. Basically, paradigm means working at something in a specific way, that is, its pattern. To understand this, let's take an example. Everyone has to do some sort of work in specific areas to fulfill basic needs. Like, a teacher teaches the students, engineer develops buildings, and the doctor procures the patients. So everyone is working with different paradigm but the purpose is to own. Similarly, programming languages follow some specific domain, or we can say different programming languages have a different way of programming. For example, some of the programs execute statements in a sequential fashion and only focus on variables. Here, the term sequential means one after another. As you already know, a variable is used to store some data that can be varied. Like, x is a variable that have value 2 at some time and value can be 4 at another time. So value can be varied from one time to another. Hence, if we want to find the paradigm of same types of programming languages, then we can say that programming languages in which sequential programs are written and they focus on variables have procedural paradigm. Coming towards the next paradigm, some programs only focus on values and expressions in contrast to focusing on variables as an imperative languages. So, these programs are seen as a function that is working on some parameter, not the variables. Here, I'm using the term function again and again. Basically, a function is a set of statements which are put together to perform some specific task. There may be more than one function existing in one program. So, what is paradigm of these types of programs? These types of programs have applicative or functional paradigm. Hence, we can say that programs that focus on values and expressions using functions are called applicative or functional paradigms. Next is rule-based programming or the other name is logic programming or declarative programming. In this language, program is viewed as a set of facts and predicate rules to achieve certain goals. This programming language is focused on describing what is needed from program without specifying how to solve it in contrast to previously discussed programming language that was imperative programming. For example, if we want to make a tea, we will describe here that water, sugar, tea leaves and milk are needed. But we will not explain how can we make tea. This language is specifically used in artificial intelligence, specialization in computer science engineering. Example of this type of programming language is Prolog. Next is object-oriented programming paradigm. In this, a program is constructed a set of objects which interact with each other through message passing focuses on data and functions and wraps them together into a single unit, thereby providing data security. It supports encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, polymorphism, etc. Some examples are C++, Java, Smalltalk, Python and so on. We will study all these terms in upcoming video lectures. Hence, it includes imperative or procedural paradigms, applicative or functional paradigm, rule-based or logic paradigm, object-oriented programming paradigm. Thank you.